Hey, Rob Little is in the Hey, good to see you. So we're on Facebook right now. Our viewers are sharing their favorite Christmas presents, right. holiday presents from when they were younger. We have uh, the Barbie camper was one. That was a big one. A Walkman with cassette of Journey. Don't stop oh. believing. Snoopy <laughs> snow cone machine was another that was one. That a good one. What, what's yours? Suntan Tuesday Taylor was a... Uh... <laughs> we'll be back right after this. <laughs> here comes Santa Claus, here comes Santa Claus. Hey, uh, funny man Rob Little is here. Do you prefer comic, comedian, or funny man? I prefer comedian. Comedian. <laughs> All right, you are back in town. It's good to be back. That's awesome. Yeah, I mean, I've been living out in L.A., and I know uh, she brought up that Suntan Tuesday Taylor. Out in L.A., we just call them uh, Kardashians. <laughs> That's pretty much it. <laughs> I had a favorite gift growing up, though, too. It was I always wanted uh, underoos. Underoos, the Spider-Man yeah, underoos. Yeah, but I was, a, ones. I was a bedwetter, so uh, <laughs> all I ever got was Aquaman. And, uh, <laughs> ever have the He-Man alarm clock? I didn't. That would have been a good one. I had a lot of those He-Man characters, though. Those were awesome. So uh, tell us about your, your show. It's it's uh, out at Andiamo Theater out in Novi this weekend. And, or this actually tonight. It's a one show tonight. And uh, it's great to be back, man. I got my birthday's tomorrow. Christmas hey, look at that Eve. picture of you there. Hey, Adorable. I'm Adorable. Oh, look at that. Happy Thank to you. you. Yeah. I'm pretty, oh, we get a little singing with it. I, uh, it's a horrible birthday, though, Christmas. What? Christmas Eve. You don't get double the gifts? Y you get combination gifts. <laughs> like, like last year, my mom got me a pair of tennis shoes, but only gave me the left one, you know? <laughs> She's like, ooh, don't go guessing what you're getting for Christmas. <laughs> what, a broken ankle? Thanks a lot. <laughs> I was like, did you ever think Jesus got combination gifts? He's frankincense again. <laughs> He's like, thanks for the bracelet, Mom. What would I do? <laughs> <laughs> Where do you stay when you're in town? Do you? Uh, uh, why, you gotta come over? <laughs> they uh, put me up in, in a hotel. Yeah. Yeah, a real yeah. nice joint or yeah, kind of Yeah, actually, flea bag? really nice. It's a Holiday Inn, I think. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, this yeah. one's nice. There's sometimes they're bad. Yeah. Yeah, because I've asked other comedians about the you know comedy clubs in other cities will often have like a comedy condo where all the comics <laughs> stay when they come into town and they find unsavory things and they're left by the last comedian. Yeah, right? that's there's a lot of road stories of things like certain comics you don't want to follow, like you know they're there the <laughs> week before you and you're like, yeah, I don't think I'm gonna come in that week or I'll just pay for my own hotel. <laughs> Yeah, it's rare, but I don't. I try to stay away from those clubs that do that. So, uh, very exciting time to be Rob Little. You have uh, some a project in the works. I'm working on. Uh, yeah, I'm a big history buff, which nobody probably would know about me, but I love it. And so, I pitched my own show where we do some. We go to like certain historical places, learn about the history, and then we throw in some sketch comedy to kind of make it more memorable and entertaining and stuff. And so, I have like five networks interested in. It right now, what do you think of that uh, Dodge commercial where George Washington's driving the Challenger? I didn't. I haven't seen, seen that. It? Oh no. no, it's a great spot. It oh, was, I can't it, wait. It's I'm in the same it vein of humor that I think you're talking about. That'd be awesome. I always got mad because we go through uh, American history in high school, and I wanted to learn about contemporary American history, like right. the uh, Cuban Missile Crisis and Watergate and whatnot, and we always seem to never get there. You'd see it at the back of the book, but we'd only make it about halfway through the book, it seems. Yeah, I was always like, we, it seemed like all we ever talked about was our forefathers, and I'm like, I get it, there were forefathers, right? <laughs> Washington, Saget, Uncle Jesse. Uh, I get it. <laughs> you should hang out all morning, really. I would love to. All right. <laughs> so it is written, so it shall be done. Rob Little's going to hang out with us for the next 32 minutes. All right, there you see the information. Buy one, get one free if you mention what? The Rob Little Fan Club offer. Just say that when you go yep. to buy the tickets. At Andiamo Novi on Grand River there. Everybody knows it. Everybody loves it. You have a favorite Italian dish, by the way, not to put you on the spot? Uh, chicken Parmesan. Yeah, I'm right there with yeah. you. That's good stuff. Heck yeah. And it's really good at Andiamo. <laughs> All right, Rob. Hang Thanks out. for having me. Oh, you're not going anywhere. Oh, great. You're, you're awesome. hanging out. Yes, we have more coming up after this. All right, welcome back to The Nine. We are joined by Rob Little. Hey. Again. Thank you for sticking around, <laughs> my man. Me. Always a pleasure to have you here. Now, uh, according to the British press, there's speculation that Simon Cowell could be knighted very soon. Sir Simon. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about that. I mean, some politicians have been lobbying for that honor, because, but because of his contributions to the entertainment industry and the charity work that he has done in Haiti, Simon is putting those rumors to rest, however, about his knighthood candidacy. He's joked that uh, they would 
be enthusiastic about having him beheaded. <laughs> <laughs> I could see him kind of giving the queen some some guff, you know, and be yeah. like, well, I don't like the way you're dressed, or just <laughs> something Seriously, like that. Seriously, that tiara know? has to go. <laughs> right, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but what has he really done, though? I mean, he just gives his opinion. I mean, he, he picks good uh, musical acts for success. Well, and he's he a good one star time. finder, but what does he do? <laughs> like twice, maybe. <laughs> yeah, well, I don't he's know. Required, El Divo, that's his big group. El Divo. <laughs> well, he's required that. It, can I? I know. He's required that at least on every single uh, um, show like American Idol, that there right. has to be at least one British judge. He he made that sort of. Well, then let's he night owns him. all of them, so why not? <laughs> America's yeah. Let's Got Talent. Uh, America's well, he put Got Pierce Talent. Pierce Morgan on the map. Pierce America Morgan has less talent. Talent. <laughs> <laughs> So. All right. Well, there we go. Simon Cowell. Let's talk about the the highest grossing actor 2010, according to Forbes magazine, is Rob Little. <laughs> <laughs> Twenty oh, months. Sorry, we're almost. supposed to laugh there. Were we? <laughs> <laughs> all right. It's Leonardo DiCaprio. That guy right there. He had the movie Inception, of course, and. It's made $1.1 billion. Johnny Depp came in second. Robert Downey Jr. rounds the top three. I like all three of those. Yeah. yeah. Inception, the good thing about Inception is people were just talking about that movie. And because it's so, the, the ending and what happens in the movie is like a dreamscape. They go see it three, four times. That's where all the money comes in. Yeah. Yeah. It was great. I loved it. Maybe you could do that I with got a right show away. concept. You could... <laughs> Maybe have a dreamscape thing in there, and people will continue to go back and watch the show to see what really happens. See, that'd be a good idea. See, there you go. With history, though, I think they know what happened. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't really sign the Declaration of Independence. It's all in your head. <laughs> <laughs> Not since the recasting of Ocean's Eleven has there been a buzz surrounding this Hollywood remake. Especially since our producer Connie loves this show. Now, the new Forrest Gump, no. A new Michael no. Corleone, no. Indiana Jones, perhaps? Even bigger? Yes, even bigger. They're planning to reboot Buffy oh, come the on. Vampire Slayer. What? Yeah, like, for sure. <laughs> Wake up, Jason Karsh. <laughs> they're on the hunt for a new leading lady to play the sexy, stake wielding valley girl. Rumors are going around that they've already set their sights on one blonde who's already well known for wearing a cheerleading uniform. Mm -hmm. Heather. Heather Morris, who plays the ditzy cheerleader, Brittany Pierce on the Fox show Glee. She's leading the pack. Oh, she would be perfect. She yeah. would be absolutely perfect. <laughs> Do you guys Connie watch Glee? Boo. Do you watch Glee? Uh, yeah, I love Glee, but, yeah. but I think this is a little ridiculous. So we're getting out of hand with the vampire stuff. <laughs> <laughs> 2010 yeah. was like the year of vampire. Wasn't yeah. It was ridiculous. Yeah. yeah, but how old do we all feel that they're talking about remaking something that new? I mean, it's yeah. not like they're, you know, remaking yeah. It was 87. Tron. I didn't even know yeah. that was off the air. Like, that's how I did, <laughs> right. That's how new it was to me. I, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. They're remaking anything. Let's get creative. We need to get a little more. It, see, it's easier to come up with a proven. Alan Lee says the same thing, where they keep rebooting stuff, but people yeah. keep going to it. Keeps making money. Yeah. It's because they're already familiar. Green. But I, green. Th I think of hair, uh, I think of, um, I was going to say hairspray. I think of some remakes that I've gone to that I, that I actually yeah. really, really like. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Bewitched was awesome. <laughs> 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 no offense, Will. <laughs> well, you know, and Nicole Kidman had had so much, I mean, and I, not to knock Nicole Kidman, but she right. had so much Botox before they were filming this mm -hmm. that when she, she couldn't do the... She couldn't wiggle her nose. Really? wiggle her nose. <laughs> All right, well, coming up next, you, you'll want to wiggle your nose at uh, Hurricane Grill. We're going to make some chicken wings with the folks from there coming up next. And I get to go over there, but I have a feeling that, that Jason's going to be following me. Oh, me too. They have a mommy dish over there. <laughs> you too. I'll meet you over there. Over there. Yeah, all you right. Too. Yeah, let's all meet We'll all be hanging out in the kitchen next. Well, it's been a year. It doesn't surprise me. Okay, well, once we get beyond Christmas, uh, the big Christmas meal, everybody's going to be talking about bowl games, right? Correct. We've got so many bowl games going on. And, of course, what's better to serve at bowls than, or to, at bowl games than wings or go to this new restaurant called Hurricane Grill? Case Mana from Hurricane Grill is uh, here with us today. First of all, tell us a little bit about, uh, uh, and Renee, you're, you're, Hi. You're, she's going to be cooking everything up as Absolutely. well. Absolutely. And everything is tossed in a sauce. And our stainless steel bowls, which Renee is going to demonstrate for you. Okay, Renee, you, you right. get well, that's a barbecue sauce. This is a barbecue. I'm tossing these. We just give them a nice, good coating. 
On a platter, you can get a 10 platter, 15, 20. If you're really hungry, you can get 20. Um, doesn't matter what, what sauce you choose. We have over 30 sauces. You can combine them. You can get an eye flavor. This barbecue sauce, a lot of people like to mix with our Cajun, so we take a dry rub and we sprinkle it on top. Oh, no kidding. Wow. And I see you've got nachos and salads and pretty much everything here. Yes, we do. We, we offer party platters of uh, 50, 100, up to 200 wings. Okay, there's three guys over here who are dying to get into the party platter. I can see. And Lee Thomas <laughs> is looking to get into the, to the fish. Just want to start so over you here. you got some wings, I see. I got <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> what, what kind are these? You That's barbecue wow. with kale on top. <laughs> this is our firecracker sauce. Mm. Is that good? That's really good. All right, well, tell me. Jump right in. <laughs> yes, tell me about your hours and where you're located. We're going to have one of those. Oh, potato fries. Right. Well, uh, we got a maple pepper glaze that those you dip in. That is just out of this world. They are out of this world. We have a firecracker shrimp with a spicy Asian uh, sauce right in there. Well, it sounds like with everything you got that you guys are bound for success. So no, very good luck to you. Is it okay if you just go ahead and... <laughs> no, you gotta, try, you gotta try the number five, ridiculously hot. I told the guys if they one. can drink this, they'll get a thousand dollars. I'll take a rain check on that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, Case Mana, thank you and Renee for thank coming you. in. Thanks for having us, I appreciate it. All right, no problem. And I just want to remind you that, of course, uh, for more information on Hurricane Grill and the recipes that you saw here, just log on to MyFoxDetroit.com. All right, so you might not know this about Rob Little, but he is an, a ninja warrior. <laughs> he was talking those wings pretty good. <laughs> we'll find out about that coming up. <laughs>